Well, so far from your time here, do you feel Spain has changed you somehow? Hmm, I might need a second. Mi vida ha cambiado mucho. Sí. Muchísimo. And I mean, Belgium itself, like I love Belgium, but I don't know if I miss it that much. Um, in a way, yes. I feel like I'm more happy because... Hello everyone, welcome back to Sensational Spain. For today's video, we're asking foreigners living in Spain, how has the country changed them as a person? So, let's go see what they have to say, come on. First of all, could you tell us your names and where you're from? Yeah, my name is Angie and I'm from Mongolia. I'm May, I'm from the United States. My name is Liam, I'm from Belgium. Soy Antonio, llego desde Italia. Yeah. <laughs> I saw we clarito. Um, my name is Areti. I'm from the U.S. Uh, my name is Wiley. I'm from north of Chicago. Uh, my name is Eduardo, and I'm from Arizona. Me llamo Valentín y soy de Francia. Vivo aquí desde hace siete años. ¿Y qué te trajo a España? Estudié un máster aquí y me quedé porque me hice muchos amigos y nada, me gustó. I first came to Spain to study here um, two years ago, and then now I'm teaching English here. So I I first came for a year for uh, an Erasmus two years ago. And I spent a year here, and then I went back to England for, for university, and then after my last year, I decided to come back because it was just a great city to live in. Um, we're here to study abroad, and we're here only for a semester. Yes. Same with me, I'm studying abroad. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, llegué en España por uh, solo quería. Uh, I wanted to go go away from uh, from, Italy. from Italy. The other option was Germany, but uh, yeah. I I would have not survived if I went to Germany because I didn't know the language. I came here without knowing the language, and uh, yeah. How so far from your time here? Do you feel Spain has changed you somehow? Um, in a way, yes. I feel like I'm more happy because my routine has changed and because you're in a new environment, like, I feel like I plan things to do. So I feel like I'm more calm and <laughs> yeah, more uh, at peaceful. Yeah. I think I definitely dress differently. Like I just like have adapted to like you guys dress very like put together. So I feel like I've had to change like <laughs> the stuff that I wear a little bit. But I also feel like just like, yeah, like the same thing. Like I, you have to plan things to do. There's so much fun things to do here. So I definitely feel happier and like definitely more calm than I am in the United States. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I might need a second. Yeah, uh, of course, of course. Um, it's definitely changed my lifestyle a lot. I think I went to school in Washington, D.C., so everything is very um, competitive and like focused on using your free time to get ahead um, with like jobs and stuff. Uh, and then coming here, I find that you know your free time is more of yours to like enjoy, spend time with family, spend time with friends. And there's also a lot more culture and history in the city, so it just feels like more alive than in D.C. when after five o'clock, the city kind of shuts down oh. in some parts. Yeah. Not all, but yeah. Nada, hace cuando estoy aquí, mm, un año, un año ahora, mi vida ha cambiado mucho. Sí. Muchísimo, sí. sí. Eh, hay toda una otra manera de, de ver y eh, 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 vivir. En, en Italia hay una mentalidad más cerrada por muchas cosas. Nada, para mí es una oportunidad... Uh, Incredible. No pensaba de que mi vida podría cambiar así. Definitely the walking. The walking, the taking the metro, that's very different from the United States. We're used to driving everywhere. The public transportation is awesome here. I think it's, it's really different compared to how U.S. colleges work, where it's more of a campus and you live there for a year or two. But here, like, we live probably 25 minutes away, but we just take the metro every day, which doesn't really exist in the U.S. Yeah, I think, first of all, I came uh, not really speaking uh, much Spanish, so I think I learned from speaking French already, it wasn't like super hard because it's quite similar, but I learned, I think, the language. The food was great. That's something that I liked. And then what's cool about it, about Madrid in general, is that like, it's a very international city, so you meet, obviously there's a lot of Spanish people, but there's like people from everywhere, a lot of French, Italians, Everything, so it's been fun to like meet people from all backgrounds. The 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 like nightlife and stuff is super fun. Going out, clubs, bars, a lot of like live music bars and stuff. That I would go a lot. Like every week, I'd go with friends like to like a rock bar near Seoul and like play on the stage. And so that's super fun as well. You can do everything here, so it's really fun. And there's like a lot of different like scenes. That's quite cool. I had to I had to like get away from some problems that were sticked in my world there and I had to get autonomous and get to learn how I feel, why I feel, 
and um, how to change these these parameters okay. let's say yeah and what is something that you can do here that maybe you couldn't do in dc besides having like a more personal free time you know like what's something that you feel is completely different that you couldn't do there um completely different I don't know, because they're both kind of big cities. I think the concept of like going out and grabbing a drink is definitely more affordable, like just so much more affordable here. I don't know, like something like El Rasho is something that like doesn't happen um, in the U.S. so much. So I guess enjoying the outdoors, but not really in like a park way, but just like yeah. being outside, outside of your apartment, outside of your job or whatever. Um, you definitely have more free time, like lunches take longer time, um, dinners, you have more social interaction like at night. People just have like a more of a social life I could say. Yeah, I'd say going to get drinks with your friends or going to like Retiro to hang out in the park. It's less like sitting around hanging out but going to actually do something to hang out with your friends. A ver, la fiesta es distinta aquí. La gente es más, se acerca más, ¿no? Te haces más amigos aquí, yo creo. No sé, en Francia la gente es un poco más cuadriculada y más como... ¿Sabes? Como cerradita, sí. Okay. I feel like in America it's more structured. Like, for me, my routine was go to school, go to work, um, spend time with family and friends, yeah. of course. But I did a lot of studying, I was home all the time, and... Like when you live in America, there's nothing really to do based on where you're living. <laughs> But because of that, I was kind of like in one place and kind of depressed. Oh. But, oh, okay. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, I feel like here, like the lifestyle is a little bit different. Like the day ends so much later here than it does in the US. I think that in the US, like, you know, you kind of like start getting ready for bed at like 10, but here that's less when you're starting to go and have your like your night, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like people are just like so much more like open. And I think like the people who are we're surrounding us with are also studying abroad. So it's like the lifestyle, it's the people. And I think it's just like the atmosphere that's like it's much more like relaxed. Like time is not as important there you yeah. go if that makes sense i don't know if 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 like my life has like changed a lot okay. but i think i enjoy it a lot more maybe okay. being here so that's been quite cool oh, that's great. and is there anything you miss about italy at the moment no 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 no, no not even the food I found some very good restaurants here. Can you recommend ones? Like yes. very like authentic Italian restaurants yes. here in Madrid? Yes, yeah. yes. Fratelli d'Italia. It's the, the first three words of the Inno Nacional. Oh, okay. Italian. Fratelli d'Italia. <laughs> very good pasta. Yeah. Absolutely. The food, the fast food from back in the US. Yeah, there's the food is just very different. The food here is very fresh. Back in the U.S., it's a little bit more processed, you could say, but it's better, I feel. I'd say grocery stores are a big difference. Like, in the U.S., you go to one place and you can get everything you need. But here, you can go to, like, I don't know, if you need to go to the Express to just get something quick. Or you can go to an actual market and get fresh meats, fresh fish. Yeah. And, like, so you have to shop around to get what you want. But I think they both have their pros and cons. At first, I missed um, my car. Okay. Just like going somewhere in like five or ten minutes, but uh, now I am I enjoy taking the metro and like yeah, that was the thing that I really missed. But now I really embracing. love the embracing the metro system here. I I think I miss Trader Joe's. It's like a grocery okay. store, but yeah, I think I mean besides like my family and my friends and everything, I guess I just miss the convenience of like driving because here I take the metro everywhere and yeah. back at home like I would have my car, so it was super nice to just like drive. To whatever you need, drive with your groceries instead of carrying all of them, yeah, like all of that. But yeah, I miss peanut butter. <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> everything. Yeah, everything else is like it's pretty. Yeah, adaptable. It's yeah. similar. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my family, definitely, and uh, my friends, I guess. But I mean, it's not that far. You know, it's like uh, take a Ryanair flight, and it's uh, it's not too expensive. It's not too far. And I mean, Belgium itself. Like, I love Belgium, but I don't know if I miss it that much. No yet, at least. No yet. ¿Qué es lo más difícil de vivir aquí en España? Lo más difícil. Creo que lo más difícil fue. Yo estaba buscando un piso para el verano y ahora me quedé en un barco. ¿Cómo en un barco? 